Thanks for joining us for another Toddler Tuesdays at Home. I'm Amelia. Join us every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for fun activities you can do in your own home. Head to mallofamerica.com backslash Toddler Tuesdays to learn about upcoming events. Today we are joined with a special guest. It's Katie Lynn from Monarch Joint Venture. Katie Lynn, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, tell me about Monarch Joint Venture. Yeah, what is it? So Monarch Joint Venture is a national partnership organization that works to conserve the monarch butterfly and its migration across North America. So we have over 100 partners from across the United States all working in some capacity to help monarch butterflies. And what's your job? What do you do there? I'm the education coordinator, so I get to do fun stuff like this and bring monarchs to people and, and activities and programs and mostly with teachers <laughs> who then bring it to their students. But I also get to do fun stuff in classrooms when we're able to visit people in person again. So Great. What kind of activities are we doing today? Today we are going to be doing a seed ball, mm -hmm. a seed ball activity, which will be in the kits that you guys will receive when you pick them up here. Um, and then there's also an activity to create a monarch life cycle out of noodles. So I'll go through a couple of things to keep in mind for that. Sounds good. Let's check it out. Yeah. All right. So a couple of the activities that you'll receive in your toddler Tuesdays, Tuesdays at home kits are seed balls. So it'll look like this when you get it. It's just a bag full of dirt and clay and then another bag that's got some milkweed seeds in it. And when you get it, you'll mix it all together, roll it into a ball, into a seed, a, a seed ball, and then toss it outside where milkweed can grow. And then the second activity will be, it'll look something like this when you're done, when you create a monarch life cycle out of noodles. So we've got the egg on a leaf here, hatches into a caterpillar, which forms a chrysalis, and then out comes the butterfly and the whole cycle starts all over again. So you can label it. But when you get your parts of the activity, they're all going to come out separately. So when you get your butterfly, you wanna take a piece of your black pipe cleaner and make the antenna and the body. And then you'll get caterpillar, which will be a rotini noodle and some pipe cleaners. So you'll take the, the noodle and wrap the pipe cleaners around it. You'll probably need a grown up to help because this can get kind of tricky. But you'll wrap the pipe cleaners around it like so to give the, your noodle the same stripes as a monarch caterpillar has, which are black and white and yellow. And then you'll grab some glue and assemble everything on your life cycle plate. Don't forget to draw your stem and your leaves and then glue your egg onto its leaf. And monarchs only lay one egg at a time, so you only need one, but you can add more if you want to. All right, we are making macaroni monarch life cycle. To do this activity, you need Ancini de Pepe noodles, Rotini noodles, shell noodles dyed green, orange bow tie noodles, and you can find instructions on how to dye noodles online, white, yellow, and black pipe cleaners, a green marker, green construction paper, a paper plate, and some glue. The Ancini de Pepe noodles will be the eggs. They go on the leaf. Then we have our pipe cleaner wrapped rotini noodles for the caterpillars, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. And we've made antennae on the butterfly by wrapping a black pipe cleaner around it. So to do this, I have my helper. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we draw a plant with some leaves on the top. And then, are you ready to glue the leaf on? Yeah. Yeah, you got the leaf? I'm gonna glue it on here. Okay. Go ahead and stick it on. Right there. Uh -huh. Okay. No, nope, we only need one. And then grab grab one of the eggs, just one. Mm -hmm. Put it on the leaf here. Put it on that little bit of glue. The glue will dry clear. Okay. Now we need our caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Now we'll put that right here. Yeah. 
And our chrysalis. Mm-hmm. Chrysalis is gonna hang from the leaf here. Um yeah. And our butterfly. This butterfly is gonna be flying. Oh, that's upside down. No, I wanna be You want it to be upside down? No, it's gonna fly down here. Oh, okay. To a flower. To a flower. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's our butterfly life cycle. All right, we are going to pretend to be monarch butterflies. We're going to act out the entire life cycle of the monarch butterfly. So first I need you to crouch down. Pretend you're an egg and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for your body to tell you you're ready to hatch. And then you're gonna start eating your way out of that egg and crawling out and then all you're going to do for a little while is eat and eat and eat and you're eating milkweed. So you're going to go around and nom, 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 munch on that milkweed and fill up and grow nice and big. And then you're going to hang upside down if you can <laughs> or pretend to hang upside down from your chrysalis and do your little pupa dance. Get that old skin off from the caterpillar and then you're going to sit very still for about two weeks or pretend two weeks very still not doing anything waiting for your body to be ready to come out of the chrysalis and pretend to be a butterfly fly around look for nectar pretend you're migrating to mexico and then once you get to mexico you'll rest with your wings behind you and go to sleep for a little while and that's the monarch life cycle so the monarch life cycle takes about a month to complete. So when monarchs fly around and lay their eggs, they'll lay their eggs on milkweed leaves. That's the only thing the caterpillars can eat. So they lay their eggs on milkweed. Those caterpillars hatch and eat and grow for about two weeks until they're about 2,000 times the size they were when they hatched. That would be like a human baby growing to the size of an elephant in just two weeks. So that's all they do for two weeks. And then when they're done growing, they hang upside down in a J and form a chrysalis like this. And they'll stay in that chrysalis for about another two weeks before they come out and emerge as a monarch butterfly. Now the monarch butterflies that we see here in Minnesota in the, in the summertime only live for about a month as an adult. But the monarchs that we see in the fall that are, that are Coming out as butterflies in August and September can live up to nine months because they make a special journey all the way to Mexico. They can fly up to 3,000 miles to spend the winter in the mountains of Mexico, and then they come back again in the spring. And we should start to see monarchs return to Minnesota sometime at the end of May or beginning of June. So make sure you get your seeds out there and try to grow some milkweed this summer so that they have some food when they come back to us in Minnesota. Thanks for sharing those crafts with us. That was really fun. I have some follow-up questions. Mm -hmm. Why would they go all the way to Mexico? That is an excellent question. So we just got out of winter here in Minnesota and it was really cold and there's not a lot growing here. There's nothing really alive here in the winter. Everything goes to sleep. And so a lot of animals, instead of staying around for the winter and sleeping themselves, they, they do something called migrate and monarchs do that. They migrate to Mexico where it's a little bit warmer, not much, because they're in the mountains, not on the beach. It's a little bit warmer and it allows them to um, stay alive for the winter and then come back in the spring when conditions are a little bit better for them to lay their eggs and eat and drink nectar. So My grandma goes to Florida every winter. Yeah, it's kind of like kinda the same the thing. Same thing. <laughs> That's great. Uh, you said that they, the caterpillars only eat a specific leaf. Is that all they eat and drink their whole life? Yeah, so the caterpillars only eat one kind of plant and that's called milkweed. And there's lots of different kinds of milkweed. Minnesota has 12 or 13 different kinds that grow here normally, naturally. And the, um, the caterpillar only eats that milkweed for the entire time it's a caterpillar. It's the only thing it can eat. It won't eat anything else. But once they turn into butterflies, they can drink nectar from any sort of flower. So if you wanna help monarch butterflies and other pollinators, you can plant a variety of nectar sources and make sure that there's something blooming from about April or May all the way through September and October. And that's the best thing that you can do to help pollinators is to plant nectar sources for them. 
So nectar sources, the milkweed, that's the great way to help them. Nectar how, sources and milkweed, yep. How else can we support Monarch Joint Venture? Yeah, so if you are wanting to help monarchs in general, planting habitat is a great way. You can learn more about monarchs on the Monarch Joint Venture website. It's monarchjointventure.org. You can also participate in community or citizen science programs, and that's just going out and counting or reporting monarchs that you see when you're out on a walk or in your yard. And you can find more information on that on our website as well. And then another great way to help monarchs is to donate. <laughs> um, you can also donate money to an organization like the Monarch Joint Venture, and uh, an organization like ours can take those dollars and amplify them and add them up to other donations that other people give us and make sure that the money is going to places and projects that are making a big impact for pollinators. Lovely. One of my favorite things about monarchs, of course, is how beautiful they are. Do you know why they're such bright colors? Yeah, they are a really beautiful butterfly, and they're probably one of the most recognized insects in North America. I think almost everybody knows what they look like and how mm -hmm. to identify them. And their coloring is actually a, a type of coloring called aposomatic coloring, and it's a warning. And it's telling other animals, stop, don't eat me, I might hurt you because they're actually toxic. They get toxins from the milkweed that they eat and they keep those toxins in their bodies so that if something eats them, they might get a little sick. And then they'll, um, whatever's eating them probably won't eat another butterfly that looks like a monarch. So they know to stay away from that. that makes a sense. lot of animals have that kind of coloring. Bees, skunks, venomous snakes, mm. Uh, poison dart frogs, lots of things have that bright coloring as a warning to stay away because I might be dangerous. So that means if I see a butterfly or a caterpillar in my yard, should I touch it? That's an excellent question. Uh, generally, we like to say probably leave nature alone, let it be, but it is okay to get close and look at them. And if you want to, you know, touch it a little bit or touch the leaf that it's on, you'll be fine. Monarchs cannot hurt you. They don't sting. They aren't... Um, Poisonous, if you touch them, they're only, they're only harmful if you eat them. So don't eat a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think I will. Do you know when we can start to see the caterpillars in Minnesota? That's a really good question and something that I'm really looking forward to because it's been a long winter. Um, and monarchs don't usually come back to Minnesota until sometime between the middle to the end of May or beginning of June. Okay. So you can start looking for eggs around the end of May. Um, the milkweed, isn't out of the ground yet, so they can't be here yet, and it's still cold. <laughs> yes. So when, uh, when you start to see the milkweed coming out of the ground, even if it's just an inch or two tall, that's when you can start looking for monarchs and seeing if they're coming back to your yard. You'll probably see the eggs before you see the butterflies. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. great. Thanks for sharing all your yeah, knowledge with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Katie Lynn, for teaching us all about monarchs, and Monarch Joint Venture for sending her out here today so we can learn about pollinators. Head out to Mall of America yourself to watch cartoons every Tuesday at 11 a.m. in the TCF Rotunda, thanks to our partner, TCF Bank. While you're out here, you can check out our Monarch Butterfly Art Installation Kaleidoscope that's in the North Atrium of Mall of America. Come on out to pick up your Toddler Tuesday Fun Packs every week starting at Thursday while supplies last. See you next week.